Hello everybody, Siftry again with another Inscription Casey's mod video and today I'm actually gonna do something different because the game got a new patch. Casey's mod got a new patch and they added a new item and a new unit but today I decided to showcase the new item and actually I decided to showcase all the items that are new in Casey's mod so uh, I'm gonna go through and unlock them real quick and also show you what Leshy says when you get them and then after that I will also show what they do and uh, in a fight. So, um, yeah, I already have the first unlock ready, so let's go right to it. This is uh, the first item you can unlock through the paintings. In case you don't know how you do that, you just uh, set up whatever the void state on the painting is, and then you get the item. So let's see what he says. I know you have seen such utensils before. Perhaps you would like to use them? Now that our wheezing wizard friend is locked away, take it now. I will also offer it from time to time. Boop, he gives us it. And uh, I can't right click and check it right now, but uh, we're gonna do that all together at the end of this. So um, yeah, off to the next unlock for me. Okay, and here we are after the second unlock. I got the clock. Let's take this. By the way, I think I can leave it right here, right? Yeah, I can even let it there to sit. I want looking at it from afar. But uh, yeah, let's give it to Leshy and see what he says to us. Reliable, that pocket watch never stops ticking. Perhaps you would like to use it? Oh, nice, got it. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's go off to the third unlock, which is also the new item that they added to this uh, game mode. Okay, and uh, here we are, unlock the third item. So uh, let's uh, let's see it. This is the new item, by the way. This just got added to the game. Looks like uh, the draw whatever your card to me. Let's let's see what this looks. Oh, it's it's flying over there. This is most likely going to be draw what you want. I mean, it's literally an hourglass. Yeah, the magpie's glass. <laughs> okay, uh, take it. I may offer more of them on your journey. Okay, and we got that too. So um. Yeah, let me, this has been a bunch of resets. Let me, I guess, let me try to run through this whole thing and try to pick up all three items. And then I'm going to come back by, while having all three items to, um, you know, showcase them one by one in a fight. So, yeah, coming right back up. And uh, here we're back. I got them. So uh, let's go test them. I guess the lead too, because I want to see the bleach potion in particular, how it works. Okay, what? Ah, that wolf pop. So, let's read them up. Magical Bleach. To the user, my cards on the board will lose all of their sigils. Why is the wording like that? I don't know. To the user, my cards. My cards meaning leshies. So, wording weird, but okay. Wise Clock. To the user, all cards on the board will move one space clockwise. That's pretty much to steal a card. And Magpie's Glass. To the user, you will search your deck for any card and take it into your hand. So let's begin with the simplest one, Magic Glass. Let's take it. Oh. Uh, let's uh, let's get the Mantis. Why not? And uh, yeah, I mean, he's playing the Wolf Pup. I could play the Mantis God here, but it's going to die. Uh, do I care? I don't care. Here, let's play the Mantis. Why not? Play whatever right now. Play the Mantis. Now. Pass. Boop, boop. We'll kill my Mantis. And then now let's use the other item and see what they do exactly. So this is going to remove all the sigils from his cards, but it's also going to remove the stone. And this is going to rotate everything around. So if I use this... I will not give him anything. I could give him, for example, a squirrel to block in a lane of his. I could do, for example, this as a play to give him a squirrel. And uh, yeah, let's do it. And I'm going to get the stone. Not really useful, the boulder, but um, yeah, right now that's my example. Nice animation, though. And now the boulder is blocking on the Darwolf, and he has three block lanes. And uh, now let's also use the bleach to remove the sigils of everything. What happens pretty fast. And as you saw, it also removed the sigil of the totem. So uh, that's a nice knowledge to have. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We... <laughs> and those are the items. I guess uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do... 
uh, an item run or something. So yeah, if, if this video helped, uh, drop a like, subscribe the channel, and I hope you guys enjoyed and it was informative enough. Now uh, let me actually add a, a little bonus tip here. So um, you <laughs> let me let me showcase something bonus here. If you if you restart, actually I don't even need to restart to showcase this. Let, let's uh, let's win this fight real quick, and um, we're gonna see something that you did not expect. Uh, I I'm not sure if this is a bug. I'm not sure if this is um, a feature or whatever you want to call it. But uh, you can actually go over here, <laughs> pick up the magnifying glass, give it to him again. He's okay with it. I don't know why this is happening. Now, now, as you saw, there was a save at the right bottom corner. So now we just got a save happen. And now I can literally just go out. So we have just saved that I got the magnific the magnificent the, the glass. And now for some reason, the glass is there again. I can pick it up again. And now I can have two of them. And uh, you can do this however many times you want. You can go fight, and then just go out again after the fight. Go back up over there, pick up another magnifying glass, and have pretty much infinite eye magnifying glasses. I mean, if you want to beat the challenge run or whatever right now is, in my opinion, the best chance to do it. If you want to just, you know, unlock everything and just get a bunch of free wins real quick. Now would be a good chance to attempt it because you have infinite magnifying glass on every single one of your fights. So just do that before your every fight and you will uh, you should be winning. So you get that little tip from me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, that is though going to be it. I hope if this tip helped you, I guess then drop a like. Otherwise, I don't know. You can do whatever you want. I would like to hear some comments about uh, the items. Uh, do you think it's good or not? I think the thing that moves everything around is a nice little trick. Give up, uh, give Leshy like a trash thing, <clears throat> blocking one of his lanes in, and also stealing something good from him. The bleach removing all the sigils also really good, making enemy cards being only one ones or two ones or pretty trashy cards oh, very good. Also, it one shots the moon. It makes the moon into a one, OD with no abilities, and the magnifying glass, drawing whatever card you want, obviously insane. So yeah, the the three items of this mod. As I said, I will most likely do tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to do tomorrow or today, but I'm going to say I'm going to see. No promises, but I will definitely. The next run I'm going to do is going to be a cases item chasing run. So uh, look out for that in case you want to see <clears throat> the these items getting used in the run, you know? Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.